everybody, Stephen back here from Canon.com for another technical analysis session. This week we're going to revisit one we haven't looked at in uh, over a year and a half. This is Cresco Labs uh, out of Illinois, uh, the U.S.-based multi-state operator. Uh, let's switch over to the pricing chart and see what they've been up to. You can see the ticker here is CRLBF. Uh, this is traded on the OTC still. Uh, let's uh, zoom out since it's been a while since we've been tracking this stock. Uh, summer 2020, we're at about 489, and you can see uh, that they finished the year extremely strong, uh, closing up, 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 uh, all the way uh, into the mid-teens, into 2021, and then the market's given a little of that back uh, into the more recent months here, March and April, uh, and we're currently trading at about $13. Uh, so this is definitely not a penny stock, one of the larger ones, uh, as, at least MSO-wise, that goes on the OTC still and, and isn't on one of the larger markets. Uh, we can see the MACD, I'll just remind you again, we've seen this many times, the blue line is the MACD, the orange is the signal line. We had a positive cross here, we're also in positive territory. Uh, that was during this uh, bigger price increase from $13 to $16. We then had a cross uh, that happened on this day, 18th of February, sign of weakness here at $15.16. It's pretty much uh, stayed there for over a month. Uh, just recently, end of April, it crossed back over and we had some uh, signs of, of power here, signs of buyers. Uh, you can notice that it's in the negative territory here. We still just recently crossed over zero. So uh, watch and see if this dips below or continues to go up. Uh, you can see during that time we had pretty flat price movement, one one day uh, up 6%, but since then pretty flat, and yet the MACD is growing and, and crossing into positive territory. What does that mean on the other indicators? Well, the CCI is, is reflecting what the MACD and price chart do here. You'll see this little bump, brought this back. Similarly, we see the shape of this price increase here this wider hump, wider hump. It's definitely uh, mapping very, very closely the daily chart here. You can see very interestingly, we had this day of 6% and then pretty horizontal movement. That day actually brought us all the way up above 100, up to 157. We're just now dipping below 100. So this is actually saying maybe this little price increase is over, hinting that the blue line, the MACD here, may just dip below the signal line. Let's uh, see momentum. This is a momentum indicator. We don't use it all the time, uh, but it is good to see uh, whether the buyers or the sellers have the market. Uh, so here it's good to look at the peaks and the valleys, right? The changes in the slope. Uh, you can see we did cross over zero uh, pretty interestingly right around that same time, late April, that we were seeing our MACD cross. We crossed zero here. We love it when indicators tell us the same thing. Uh, strength, the CCI was growing that entire time. Strength, hopefully many of you caught this little price chart uh, jump from $12 to $13. But you can see now we have a couple of peaks and this is coming back down to one. Uh, it's definitely kind of following what the CCI is saying. Momentum is now stopped uh, and perhaps it's coming back down the other way. So we do have uh, pretty close three signals. It's currently in the strong territory, but looking like they're going to give it all back or at least give a little bit of it back. So we actually predict in the very, very short term, we're talking next week only, some some uh, decreases here on the pricing chart. Uh, pay attention to the fundamental because we love it when there's divergences between the technical and the fundamental analysis. And uh, is this week going to be one where that's a, a huge gap there? So uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for tracking us. Uh, and Cresco Labs brought to you by Canon.com.